Hi, I'm Nadine Dorries, the Cabinet of Culture, and today I tweeted this good tweet. This gov will remain relentlessly focused and continue to deliver for people during a post-pandemic mid-war global cost of living challenge, which no Prime Minister or gov has faced the likes of since World War XI. People have suggested there is no such thing as World War XI. Well, that is just typical wokery pokery, and actually there is 11 world wars actually, and here they are. Listen and learn, it's culture time. World War I, the Great War, and it really was great. World War II, the main one that we all love. The one with Hitler and Spitfires and all that lovely rationing, as well as the Blitz, which was, um, something to do with silk stockings. The famous war, Churchill's war. Churchill is a dog and a statue. World War III. This was Vietnam, which was a movie war, and a damn good one. World War IV, uh, the war that rhymes, which took place at Woodstock and Hendrix played, I think, and I should know because I am the culture secretary. World War V, the Cold War, so called because it happened in the winter. Brr. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that war! And the war was over because summer arrived. World War VI, this happened in the Falklands, which is a town in Argentina. I believe it was musically dramatised in the film West Side Story. No, that was something else. And World War Seven, that was West Side Story. World War Eight, oh, this one was a lot of fun. So basically, Sharon is married to Grant, but she starts having an affair with his brother Phil, and then Grant finds out. And well, I'll tell you something. It's like a modern day Tristan and Isolde. They were from Corrie, by the way. Just things I know as the Minister for Cultures. World War Nine, Margaret Thatcher versus treachery with a smile on its face. Yes, that's right, she fought against her party and her country for women everywhere, and that's why she's now known as the Queen of Hearts. World War X, Blur versus Oasis, and I actually prefer Cooler Shaker. World War XI, Ross and Rachel. Was it a break or not? I don't know, but it was a war. It was the 11th World War. And now we fight on with a Prime Minister who is loved by everybody except for jealous little snakes in the Labour Party and the Liberal Democrats, who today took two seats away in two by-elections. Well, I hope it makes them very happy. Good God, Labour and Liberal Democrats, what a sad little life.